yellow like Tracy and Katie. I trusted my they never betray me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody said Brand new will got no keys. Tell them I close, no stops, please. As soon as I you can go, we got M's in the bank, like yes, indeed. Cardio glasses, I won't even peek at you. Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu. I got him waiting and watching what he gon' do. Tryna be what I do, tryna steal my moves. 2500 for a new pair of tennis shoes. The same price I can make them youngest come and finish you. Though you be in charge, he is really like a guru. Real dope boy, 100,000 in his visa. President's attention, slide by, we don't see you. I been getting money, I ain't worried about what he do. I'm getting money like I'm from the Hades. Man, Dre about to drop, man, they gon' go crazy. They know I'm the truth, come and scrape from the basement. I'm straight as a squeak, man, I'm caught from the pavement. A million all hundreds, it make them go crazy. Wham, 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 on the baby. Brand new whip, got no keys. Tell them my clothes, no stops. I want to go out and about because the city looks so nice. Also, don't mind my voice. I'm still so sick. So I'm just going to pretend that I'm already okay. We're going to go out and about around the city, specifically towards Spadina Street because there's something about Spadina that I just resonate with. If you guys don't know much about Toronto, Spadina is basically like the Chinatown in the city. Every time I walk by Spadina, I feel so comfortable i feel so at ease so at home it, it is very much nostalgic for me because it reminds me of the philippines which is where i'm from i'm gonna go over there because i love walking on spadina street on a sunny day i want to try and find some stationary stuff i am not really having the greatest week i'm just like trying to find ways to help motivate myself help you know get myself out of this rut i feel like i need to give you the context of the situation <laughs> whenever i get this way I need to write it down or I need to not necessarily talk about it with someone but I need to reflect with myself and I can't do it just thinking about it because my mind will always just go in circles. I'll never really come to a full conclusion. I'm not sure if any of you guys have heard of the term neuroplasticity. From my personal definition of neuroplasticity, it is the practice and the ability to change or create a new brain path <laughs> and basically change the way that you think and perceive things. Never really like, oh, once you're, you've done it, you're done. You have to actively maintain it and practice it. When I used to go to therapy for my insecurity issues, I would work on my self-talk and try and call myself out for it and then change the way I think as well. Whenever I think back to it, journaling has been that one practice that has transformed the way that I perceive things. You know, every time I'm feeling down, I would journal about it, let it all out and reflect on it and talk about it. And then while I'm at it, I do make the point to write down the benefits of it, you know, flip the switch on it and see why I should be grateful for these things and, and acknowledge that it is a struggle and it is a challenge for me, but it is something that's going to help me grow and help me learn better. I'm very excited to bring you guys with me. I want to show you the beauty of Toronto, of Spadina. That's going to be my self-care day. That's going to be how I cope with things I'm going through right now. There are actually a lot of places that I have yet to discover. I want to take advantage of these moments now that the summer is coming. As for my hair, I used curling rollers over night curls. It's really, really curly right now because I've had it up. I have these like Mozart curls in the front of my face, but as time goes by, the curls will droop a little bit and they'll start to become a little bit more relaxed. For the longest time, I didn't like the way my hair looks when I curled it like this because it's too perfect, but I also haven't really found the greatest strategy for my natural curls to come through because I have layers, like a bunch of layers. I have long layers and short layers. So it looks a little bit awkward. Awkward and messy and unpresentable. So I quite like these because at least I can somewhat control how they look like over time. But yeah.
Of course, we have to pack the essentials. So, so let me show you what's in my bag that I got from New York. Uh, okay, so I need water because I'm gonna be choking all day. Um, I also have hand sanitizer, some mints, also bringing three pens. If I do go to a cafe, I can write, bring in my journal. Um, what else do I need? Face mask for public transit, wallet, keys, of course. Snack, just a granola bar and some lip balm because I know I will be needing this. How you ain't say you was moving forward Honestly hurts when you're getting older I gotta say I miss the way that you need me yeah. Why you ain't say you was getting bored Why you ain't say I was falling short How'd you lead me out so far away How could it be 20 something All alone still not a thing in my name Ain't got nothing running from love only no fear That's me Miss 20 something Ain't got nothing Running from love Wish you were here Stuck in them 20 something Good luck on them 20 something But God bless them 20 something My 20 somethings won't end. Hoping to keep the rest of my friends. Praying them 20 somethings don't kill me, kill me. Don't kill me. We're still holding to the medical.
I did enjoy some time outside. It was actually really hot outside and I'm surprised because it was kind of cold throughout the last couple days. So that has been a pleasant surprise. I didn't get any stationary things, but I did get a drink, a little treat. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. I wanted to because I've never been in that side of the city, which is the Bloor Spadina city. I tried this new Vietnamese coffee place and I got like a soda drink. It was kind of like, if you're Filipino, you should, you will probably know this, but it's kind of like calamansi, which is a Filipino drink. It's just citrus syrup, but it had some soda in there. I don't know what was at the bottom, but it was like some nuts or spice or anise, whatever. Um, it tasted really good. It reminded me of home, which I loved. And I enjoyed that while walking around. And then I went over to the place I was actually supposed to go to, which was Spadina street not spadana and blur so that took me a little bit of time i also walked by this little jewelry place the one thing i love about spadina not only does it remind me of home it also has so many cool niche things over there so i am um, i walked by this local jewelry stand and i got some rings i'm very very excited this like chrome thingy i love this i love this this all three of these were 15 dollars total got this little chrome ring and then i got this little squiggly thing inside it says smooth waters run deep love that so I'm just gonna put it on my middle, middle finger here. I like to stack these. These are obviously like probably not the greatest quality, but $3, $7, and then $5 for this like hand thing. Obviously I'm not gonna wear it in the shower, so I think it's worth it because I lost and I broke my other rings. So here it is. I thought they were so cute. I, I want to accessorize a little bit more. And also lost my necklace, so I'm kind of sad about that. Did get a necklace, but I got some rings, which I feel like kind of ramp up the look a little bit more. Walking around and moving really soothed my soul, and being around this space reminds me of home. Really did make me feel nostalgic and grateful, and it helped motivated me to pick myself back up, light a fire under my bum. Yeah, I'm actually really happy about these. Should I have spent more money? No. <laughs> Did I? Absolutely. <laughs> out because I wanted to see the eclipse that was happening on April 6th. Unfortunately, it was super, super cloudy here in Toronto, so I didn't even see anything. I just witnessed the darkness. I didn't see the whole circle thing, unfortunately. So yeah, kind of sad, but I went out because I feel like I needed to get out of the apartment just to feel a little bit more productive because I've been trying to sleep in since I'm so sick. But let me show you guys what I got. Today my friend came over and we made some mojitos and they didn't have the mints that are usually packaged. So <laughs> we got a full mint plant here. So I went to Dollarama and I just got some planter stuff. And I also have been neglecting my orchid that my friend gave me when I first moved in. It's actually like dying. So I'm gonna get back on that plant mom here. I'm glad I got the mint because I can use this for peppermint tea. Oh, it's gonna taste so good. I love mint. So, maybe a little too big, but whatever. I might be killing the plant by doing this, but whatever. Right. Oh, it smells so good. Orchid is dying. I take full responsibility for this. Who is ready for? An Aritzia haul. Well, TNA slash Aritzia. <coughs> oh my god. 
Now that the seasons are changing, we get a little bit of a discount, like a special discount to promote the new items that are coming in for the spring and summer season. Did a little bit of shopping. I love Aritzia. I do. I do. I think the quality of clothes are amazing. I love working for the brand. I love representing the brand. I'm just really excited to serve my looks during the spring. I've come to this conclusion that I love street wear and I love street style, but especially during the summertime, I think I want to make it a little bit more feminine, or at least I want to have that balance of masculine and feminine in the way that I express myself. You know, I do like the cargo look, getting around with a broad top on a hot summer day with just some classic jeans on. I will admit, the feeling that you get when you're walking down the street in a sundress or a skirt and you feel very feminine it, uh, it, it hits i got some staple items i'm very very excited to use we are heading towards the april showers and canada is so annoying with the weather during this time a couple weeks ago it was 17 degrees sunny beautiful last week it was negative 11 it was snowing it was very disappointing let's get into the haul i'm so excited okay um <laughs> I giggle. I, um, I'll start with the, the loungewear. I'll start with the fun stuff. I got this, I believe this is called the Tomorrow Pants. It's kind of like a loungewear. I got the color Heather Birch in size large. This is like, uh, this is literally like PJ. It is so soft. The texture of this is so nice. I've seen a lot of girls throughout the years have this type of pants where it's like flowy. It's kind of giving vacation in Greece. I got the crop versions, but you can also dress it up, pairing it with a white crop top tee on a nice cute summer day very easy breezy flowy love and to add on to that i also got the tna but it's a chill headband it's not the butter one this one is just a classic white headband I'm not usually a headband girly because i have layers in my hair so like it sticks up a little bit and i also have wavy hair so it's not as sleek as straight hair and my hair also gets frizzy really really easily this would look so cute with this in a white crop top love i love i love them. i'm trying to get more inspiration through pinterest uh, when it comes to fashion and my newest obsession which is so basic but very understandable is hailey bieber i love her stuff imagine this with the pants i also got olive micro skirt from sunday best i have this skirt in a blue and white kind of like a plaid pattern everyone is obsessed with it Absolutely everyone is obsessed with it. Whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments. I always feel like the cutest girl ever. As much as I'd like to get into the, just the regular mini skirt with a little slit on the side, I do have hip dips as well. And my lower stomach area, it does protrude. So it looks kind of odd. I found that wearing pleated dresses or pleated skirts specifically compliment me in such a feminine way. Literally, I capture so much attention from these types of skirts. It's just very feminine, it's very youthful. And I bought the color Heather Light Gray because it's a nice neutral. I can use this during the fall time, just put some stockings under this, or I can also wear this during the summertime with like a nice cute white crop top. Great staple item. I do want to get into the more feminine side of fashion i've decided that skirts and dresses are something that i want to become more familiar with <sighs> okay so since we're on the topic of dresses i also purchased this tube top contour dress babaton the contour collection i love this dress it shows off my shoulders which is nice and muscular in tone but at the same time it has this natural silhouette that uh, hugs your body and makes you look very curvy so it does complement mine in a nice way and i love contour because it's kind of compressing but it's not to the point where it's like suffocating so it does hide my insecure areas it just uh, it just Ugh. Just chef's kiss, classic black dress. This is the midi length. It's feminine, it's classic. I can dress this down or dress this up. Very, very versatile. I'm also wearing this long sleeve called the potion. It's like a basic long sleeve. The material is so nice and buttery soft, but my favorite part is the fact that it has this tapered in thing here. I do have a bad habit of having a lot of crop tops in my closet. For example, if I'm bloated or if I'm going to a specific occasion, I want to make sure that it's appropriate. So I got this because it's a classic black long 
sleeve and it has a little bit of that flirty cut here which you can you know play around with the tribute pant in the color matte pearl this is from babaton this is very similar to the maro pants which is kind of like the loungewear i previously showed but this is a little bit more elevated if you can see it has like a little bit of a ribbed texture It'd make a huge difference in terms of the environment that you're walking towards yeah i just wanted to get these pants because i wanted something light and fun for my trip to italy in september now that i'm in the city i see people with different outfits different fashion styles aesthetics and i'm trying to combine all the things that i like and make my own style and aesthetic it all comes down to foundation and a good base i'm doing my best to try and find more staple items like more neutrals time pieces you know like build a capsule wardrobe and then from there i can slowly build up the way to develop a style is to take core pieces and play around with that going into our active wear i went to tna the store itself has a lot more selection i got these scrunch socks sorry i already broke into them just to see how they fit you know those pilates girls who have like those cute scrunch socks with their leggings I tried to rock them. Um, look as cute as I thought. It is what it is, but I have scrunch socks now. On to the activewear stuff. Out of all the brands that Aritzia offers, I love TNA the most. I love leggings. I love it. I also love street style, and that is literally TNA. I did um go a little ham at TNA because I purchased the socks from there, the headband. So remember when I lost everything, including my TNA shorts. So I bought the cheeky five inch biker shorts. I find the five inch is a lot more flattering, especially on my body. And I got the golden version. So if you guys don't know, Aritzia did recently rebrand specifically their TNA items. The material is very different. It's actually better quality, which I appreciate. It's a lot more thicker. It's a lot more compressing. Unfortunately, I do find that um, the sizes aren't as accurate as it was before because they moved from a small, medium, large scale to Lululemon two, four, six, eight kind of thing. Usually I'm around a six, eight, like a medium in the TNA with the new material since it is very, very compressing. I found that I had to size up to a size 10, which my ego is a little shot, but that's okay. But I have been gaining weight. Not much to say about that. It is what it is. I, um, I understand. <laughs> also purchased brown leggings. Finally, finally brown solid leggings i've been waiting forever for the lululemon ones to come out it's always sold out I tried some leggings from amazon but at the end of the day tna is where it's at once again i had to size up to a size 10. they've improved the waistband as well so it's a little bit higher than before i love 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 when i was younger brown used to be my favorite color and my friend was shitting on me because she's like oh it's the same color as poop and i'm like no brown is so beautiful i love that color and now that it's coming back in i'm very happy I rock with a good brown i think brown pink and blue and white look very very good on me those are my staple colors that i love to wear and brown has been making a huge 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 comeback in my closet the final item in my haul are the tna <laughs> i have so many leggings for no reason it's the TNA Butter Cheeky Flare Leggings. Once again, I got a size 10 because the waistband is a little bit higher. I find that the material is kind of like the Lululemon Align Leggings where it kind of shows some of your insecurities. So I sized up a little bit because I don't like this area to be tight. I love this color. I have it in the cargo sweatpants. As you can tell, I'm kind of in my neutrals era. I'm trying to stack up that closet. And I have so many white t-shirts that it kind of makes sense to go a little bit more neutral with the pants i love flare leggings i think they're very feminine they complement my body and it forces me to work on my bum like i mentioned you can see everything with the butter and although my butt has grown over time it's not juicy enough and every time i wear these leggings i'm reminded that i have a nice butt but there's so much more improvement that is my aritzia haul lots of leggings lots of pants lots of staples i'm very 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 excited for the warmer weather i'm feeling so excited to spend time with my friends explore the city a little bit more be in this space well this is probably me just talking to myself but i know a lot of the times i'm very hard on myself like, i feel like my life is changing so drastically and it's only been four months since i've been here i can try and link down the items in my description box if you want to know only in north america i'm pretty sure if you're in the states or if you're in canada i will link you guys i'll let you guys know 
I am becoming an anorexia brat, unfortunately, but it's been really fun. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.